people see the position. Fill a little length in our spine. We'll rest forward like this. Let's get some deep breaths. Here we go. Down to the belly. Resting the breath. Out of the belly. Out of the mouth. Pop our spine grow tall as we inhale. Shoulders, hips, resting as we exhale. Trying to move on deep breaths. Listen in here to the shoulder. Let's side neck. Relaxing the knees and toes. The inhale pulls the hips apart forward. Exhaling, relaxing the hips and 
thighs back. Just feel just a little bit of movement. Reaching through the lungs, relaxing through the past pyramid. Finding stretch as we breathe. And keep the movement flowing. Find a moment of stillness. Keeping the spine tall or relaxing the wrist here. Find a moment to breathe. Going forward, feel the ribs opening and resting back to child's pose to hang out. Maybe we inhale, find our plank or kneeling plank. We can exhale elbows into our ribs. Inhaling, lifting the lungs. Exhale, resting the neck. Help the right foot find its way to lunge. Heel resting on the knee. The inhale pulls our hips and heart forward. The exhale relaxes our hips from side to side. So maybe just a little bit of flowing movement. Going through the lunge, relaxing the knee. Half pyramid, feeling that reach and release. Find a moment to breathe. Keep the movement flowing. We can hang out in stillness for just a moment. Soft spine or sink. Inhale, send our hips and legs forward, those back toes, find the front toes, resting in our tall toes. We're inhaling halfway, grounding the heels, inhaling all the way, heart to the sky. Exhaling one arm forward, the other arm back. Inhaling, feet, exhaling, towards the other side. We reach, send the legs facing, moment to lift and relax into our breath. Find our way back to neutral. We'll lift the ribs tall. Exhale to airplane. Pull the lower belly in. Maybe lift through the tailbone. Yeah, let's do a little bit more stretch in the back of the legs. Somehow our hamstrings are feeling steady. Then we'll deep bend in the knee. Rest the shoulder. We're going to pull the left foot back behind us. And then maybe both hands come on the inside of the front leg. We're going to flow hips and wrists forward. Exhale, hips and thighs back. Or maybe this front leg. Reaches towards straight, maybe it doesn't keep you back knee up or down again. We just get a little stretch back and forth. As we find our way into lunge, adding that twist, turning towards the front side, lifting the lungs. And then back child's pose and downward dog, taking a moment to repeat. Maybe we're inhaling, finding plank, or kneeling plank. Stay, we can exhale, elbows in. Inhale, lifting the lungs. And then exhaling to rest in the breath. A moment to breathe. Relaxing into our breath. That left foot forward into our lungs. Maybe hands on the inside of the front leg. Let's get a little bit of movement. Lift the thighs, reaching back and forth. So let's stretch the back of our legs. Find our way in the lunge, adding that twist, turning towards the front thigh, opening the chest. Releasing back, child's pose, or downward dog. Taking a Turn the downward dog if you'd like, a three legged dog, engaging the right heel up towards the chest. Popping our right foot, find its way forward and into our lunge. Turn our back heel, heels the ground as we widen open the warrior two. Feel the ribs growing tall. We're going to inhale the front leg towards straight, fingertips to the sky. Legs go out of foot, pull the front knee back towards the chest. So we're inhale lengthening, exhale releasing, finding that reach, finding that release through our thighs and hips, activating through those hip and thigh muscles as they keep the knee and toes flowing in that same direction. With our leg lifting up towards straight. We'll let one arm be up to the sky, one arm be to the ground, arms pull in an opposite direction. Then we'll trade the other arm up to the sky, the other arm to the ground. Then we'll send the arms to our side, inner thighs engaged, start to slide the shoulders towards one leg, sliding shoulders towards the other. Feeling that reach side to side, find that stretch, our ribs, our shoulders, resting into our breath. 
we draw towards the back of our mat, we're gonna feel the front arm pulling back, lengthening through the whole front side body engagement. And then arms come back to the teeth, lift the inner thighs a bit, stretching the shoulders forward and then opening the lungs in that diagonal line. Or you can continue to hinge from the hip and find any variation of the triangle that our body is allowed today, finding that stability. And the front knee, find our way into our lunge. Option to add that twisting. Resting that up toe, down the dog. You're welcome to take it off. This front leg towards straight, fingertips to the sky. Exhaling, outer hip, drawing that knee. So we're inhaling, lengthening. Exhale, releasing. Find that stretch. Rest into our breath. As we lean from that front leg towards straight, one arm tall, one arm reaches to the ground, fingers actively stretching in opposite directions. And then we'll trade the other arm up to the sky, the other arm to the sky. And send the arms to our teeth, sliding shoulders forward, sliding shoulders back. Full stretch, side to side, reaching and releasing with our exhale. We reach this front arm back. We're going to feel that lift with the front side body. Reaching towards the back of our mat. Feel that whole side body open. And we'll come back to neutral. Lift the ribs. Slide the shoulder forward. Inner thighs engage. Front hip diagonal line. And lengthen open. You can hang out here. You can continue to hinge through the hip. Feeling that inner thigh. Rib cage connection. Keeping our spines tall and stable. Deepen the bend in the front knee, finding our lunge, maybe adding that twist here, bending to the front side. And then releasing back, child's pose or down the dog. Options to hang out, options to slow through plank or any one plank, we can exhale with control. Inhale, lifting and expanding. And then exhale. Take a moment. The inhale, the right foot up to the sky, three-legged up. Exhale, pull this right foot forward into our lunge, heel resting under the knee. We're going to pull the back heel in just a bit. You can widen out your feet while you're lower, give you a little bit more stability. And then walk up this front thigh, ribs growing tall, shoulders rest. Feel your inner thighs coming in, lower belly coming in. And with our hands at our hips, we're going to move the chest, lifting the lungs open on the inhale. Exhale, hinging towards the back foot. You'll find just a little lift, just a little release. Feeling that stretch into our breath. Now, the next time we reach into this diagonal line, Feel the ribs lengthening tall, inner thighs engaged, find that stability, front hip pushing back, back hip pushing forward. We can stay in the diagonal line, we can hinge, bringing our ribs maybe a little closer to parallel. Feel the hips pushing back, top of the head pushing forward and breathe. Relaxing into our exhale. Fingertips can come to the 
front thigh or the shin. We're not putting weight in our front leg. Maybe our fingertips find the ground on either side of the front leg or the knee side. We're feeling just a little engagement. Inner thighs engage, ribs engage. Feeling that length in our spine, length through the legs. We're welcome to continue in this um, pyramid position, or you can twist here, turning the ribs towards the front side, open the rib cage, and the rest of us. As our hands relax down, we're bending the front knee, feel stability with the fingertips on the ground. The front foot takes on the weight. You can just plug the back heel up and down a few times. That's the first option. You can lift the leg up and down a few times. That's the second option. Or you can send the heel up to the sky like you're standing to twist to stay. Or you can exhale the back thigh in and inhale the back heel up to the sky. So choosing your body's range of motion, your body's pace of movement, or maybe we're enjoying stillness and sitting. We'll all end up in a lunge of our choice. That knee can be up or down. Maybe we're twisting to the front thigh and lifting our Returning to child's pose or downward dog. Whatever we're feeling, a good stretch, we can out in. Maybe we're floating forward into plank or kneeling plank to stay, or we can exhale with control, elbows into the ribs, and expanding the lungs. Moment to breathe, feeling those releasing connections. After we pull that left foot up to the sky, the three legged dog. As we're ready, we can help our left foot find its way forward into our lunge, letting that back heel come in until the sole of the foot is on the ground. You can stay in the stance the body is created to widen your feet just a little bit. Send our body into that diagonal and space. We can send that parallel our lunge position, the back heel lengthening out of back and pressing. Maybe we're twisting to the front thigh, lifting into the lungs. And then releasing that out pose or down the dog. Finding just a moment of rest. Maybe we're moving, creating plank, or moving plank, we can exhale, elbows into our ribs. Inhale, drawing 
forward, plank or kneeling plank. Left for left, the right knee down. Lean to knee, left arm up. Shoulders, hips, stacky. We're going to have the option to move this straight leg up and down. Outer hip lifts, inner thigh lowers. We'll send the top arm over the head. We can stay here. Or you can draw fingers and toes towards each other, arms and legs. Any option, stillness or movement, and if any movement is going to be up today, I'm going to hear you. As we reach out, you can stay stacked. You can rest the back foot down and pick up the ribs to the sky. And then wherever you need to do that, how toes are down the dog, finding rest or movement, maybe we're inhaling, we can plank or any plank to stay. Elbows here, inhaling, and resting back. Finding a moment to breathe. We need to look for our exhale. Drawing into that plank, or kneeling plank, right side. Left knee to find that kickstand. Right fingertips can stretch up to the sky. Maybe we're moving the straight leg up and down. We send the top arm over the head, and then maybe we're drawing our fingers and toes together, straight arm, straight leg. You can choose your body's range of motion, your body's pace of movement, or any movement pattern or stillness that feels the best to you. We'll be stretch the leg out. Option to just stay stacked. You can send the straight leg foot behind us up the rib, pulling it up to the sky. Take a moment to breathe. And then releasing back, maybe child's pose, maybe downward dog, wherever we're feeling a good stretch, hanging out, maybe flowing through plank, or kneeling plank. We can exhale, elbows in, inhale, lungs lifting, and then exhale. Finding a moment to breathe. Guiding our feet up towards the hands, creating rest in our forward fold. Shoulders relax. Maybe the head and neck get a little bit up and down move. Can we roll side to side moving? Maybe we'll up and down again. And then from here, we're going to lengthen out our legs with the fingertips on the ground, fingertips on the shin, our fingertips on the thigh. Feel your inner thigh squeeze in. Feel that stability through the ribs as we breathe. Now from here, we're going to bring our hands up to our hips, lift the rib cage tall, push into the heels, stretch the fingertips up to the sky, just as tall as we can go, heels and fingers pull away from each other, and then our arms relax, add a little sway, shoulders, ribs, lower back and Alrighty, so we'll find a place for balancing, beginning with tree. Grounding one foot, thigh engages, knee joint softens. The other knee is forward or to the side, inner thighs coming in, or belly coming in. Find our grounding. Choose your foot positioning for stability that's not pushing into our joints. Choosing our arm positioning for stability. Wherever you're feeling a good stretch today and relax through our exhales, just a moment to release into our Relax here, move those joints just a little bit. Trading legs, the other foot feels the ground, the other thigh is forward or to the side. Inner thighs reaching in, lower belly coming in, find our 
grounding, choosing our hip positioning that doesn't add pressure into the side of the joint, palms together or resting or reaching your choice. Taking just a moment to breathe, creating rest for our exhale. Relax here, move those joints just a bit. All right, so we'll trade legs, the other foot forward, or grounding the other heel forward. Let your inner thighs engage, lower body engage. You're gonna have an option to move the leg on its own, or you can do hand to big toe or hand to thigh. So you can kind of choose. As your palms push together, inner thighs engage, shoulders rest. You can just lift the heel a little bit. You can push the heel out. Again, you can hold on to the leg like the heel can stay forward or you can reach it out to the side. And we might all have the option to cross the ankles at the ankle, the calf, or the knee, and then maybe our exhale sends our tailbone back, finding this standing pigeon option, and relax into our hips, into our shoulders, resting into our breath. Spine grow tall, let's release. Keep our joints just a little bit, let's trade legs. The other heel peeling the ground, and you're going to let the other um, leg reach forward. Let your inner thighs engage, lower belly engage. Feel the ground at the palms, you can do out or you can grab hold of your foot. So we're going to feel or thigh. Feel that standing leg take on the weight, and maybe we just float the heel, we can lift the heel a little bit taller. Maybe drawing the heel in line with the hip, finding that stretch as you lengthen forward or your outer hip and reach out to the side. Give me just a moment to breathe. Now we can all, if you feel like it, cross the ankle at the ankle calf or above the knee, staying tall or exhaling the tailbone back, finding that standing pigeon option. Relaxing into our hips, our ribs, a moment to breathe, resting into our exhale. Our spine grows tall, release out, give those joints just a little bit of movement and back to the front of our mat. Opening with our inhale, flying dive through the exhale. Back to downward dog or child's pose, your body's choice. Find a few ways to rest. We can all find our way into staff pose with our tailbone, relaxing to the side and heel and hips, resting and rocking just a bit side to side. Rest here, breathe, rocking into the tailbone. With our spine tall, we're going to open up one thigh out there. Now think about your outer hip opening, inner thigh folding, just a little reach out there through that spine. Now, as we open out that one thigh, we'll fold it in to the calf, to the hip, inner thigh, wherever you're feeling a good stretch. And our inhale can keep us tall and lifted. We exhale, maybe we find just the diagonal line. Maybe we hinge further, creating just as much release as we're feeling a good stretch today. Finding relaxation and rest. Now lift our spine. 
spine, in your left the straight legs, with the collarbone of the foot, calf, or thigh, shoulders released, spine growing tall. We're going to have a little bit of movement, so as the heel extends, lifting the thigh, relaxing the thigh. Feel that stretch in the forearm position, the hamstring, the knees. We can stay holding on to the thighs, reach up to the foot, and keep exhaling. I just need you a little bit closer into the chest. Now from here we have a few options to move side to side. So hold the arm, same arm as leg, the other hand rounds to the floor. You can open up the neck and chest. A little stretch. If you like something in the you can do that instead. Or you can do the same arm under the leg. Now we're going to, wherever we're at, we're going to let this straight lifted leg reach out to the side. This bent knee can just hang out where it's at. If you want to send your foot closer inside, we're going to turn towards our bent knee. Lengthening the spine on the inhale, twisting towards the bent knee on the exhale. You're lifting, feeling that relaxation, ribs, shoulders. We can stay here. You can let this back arm reach up to the sky. Feel your tailbone, the top of the head, and the fingers stretch tall. You can stay here. You can start hinging at the hip and drawing the shoulder towards the straight leg. Feeling that openness and stretch in our side body. We breathe. Finding just a moment of rest. We come back to tall. Now the straight leg can stay straight. You're going to have the option to hold in to a butterfly or you can roll the heel back into a Z sit. Now from here, you have the option to hang out in the Z sit. You can lengthen this back leg out and find a traditional position. You can lengthen out both legs and find the split. So, okay. Stretch wherever that is today. Relax into your exhale. So if we're in the pivot or the switch, you'll need to bring your legs back in. Remember which leg is behind us. And then bring our yeah, and bring that leg forward. And then so that what was the back leg can be at home. So we're going to move our ankles to the other side. Let that what was the back leg open up in a few times out of the open. And we're going to let that foot come inside. Wherever it's going to be a good place to hang out. The spine can again stay tall or hinge forward or rest. up the straight leg, holding on to the thigh, calf, or foot, wherever you're feeling a good place for stability. Spine is tall. We get a little bit of ankle movement. Stretching your ankles, toes up and down. Get a little bit of movement with your whole leg, moving up and down, pressing the heels for the length here to breathe. And then we can stay in stillness. You can start to open the leg. Side, back to the center, whatever you're feeling like holding on to, or you're feeling like a focus pose today, you can try that option. We'll stretch back to the center. Now let the straight leg move out to the side. So we're letting this bent knee stay where it's at, or you can fold it in and then turn a little deeper into the bent knee, lifting the ribs on the inhale. Through the exhale, give a little release in the spine and the rest of the whole body. Now, 
you want to add that back hand linking right up to the sky. Maybe it starts to hinge at the hip and our ribs and shoulders. Reach towards our straight leg, feeling the thigh body stretching, releasing, feeling that rest. The place wherever your body feels taking space. Let's return back to neutral. And again, the light can stay out. Butterfly it. You can release it. Pull the back leg into a traditional pigeon. Lengthen out the front leg and split side. If you're feeling good about it, take a moment to breathe. Whatever hip I release that works the best for your body today. We feel just a few resting breaths. Body finding rest. Whenever you're ready, we'll bring both the back leg out forward and then both legs stretch out to straight and then we'll rock from hip to hip side to side. So if we know that we're taking care of our lower back, Bend our knee, otherwise you leave your legs straight. We're going to pick up the ribs on the inhale, exhale to the diagonal. And we're resting our fingertips. Our inhale to pull the arms forward. Exhale, we move more closer to the thighs. Finding that release that works the best. Our shoulders, our ribs, and our back. Finding release. With our spine growing back tall, we're sending our feet to the front of our mat, making some space to release back behind us. Thighs come in, ribs come in, holding on or stretching out. Our spine feels the ground, the legs lengthen out, the arms lengthen out, reaching and extending. And then we're bending our elbows, maybe relaxing into the knees, feeling a little release through our shoulders. Back. We're going to bend into our left knee, ground the left foot to the floor, planting the palms by our side, shoulders grounding, forearms grounding, lower back engages. We're going to um, have this option to pull this right straight leg up to the sky and lower it down. So we'll lift and then move. They can stay just moving. Or the next time the leg rushes up to the sky, you can lift up the hip as well, like you're doing a one-legged bridge. And we'll lengthen that right leg up to the sky, letting the tailbone rest if you feel you're lifting it. Hold on to the thigh, feel a little release as the toe stretches sky and down towards the ground, creating that release through that ankle, flexing and resting today. Now with our heel pressing up to the sky, we can exhale and keep hugging the thigh to the chest. Maybe staying holding on at the thigh, maybe reaching up to the class, option to keep the left knee bent where it was or lengthen it out a little bit or lengthen it out a lot. We'll create more intensity in that stretch as we breathe. Make sure we feel again release and rest the side. And we have the option to stay here. We'll let the right hand either come inside the foot, calf, or thigh. And then as we exhale, just a little bit of movement out to the side. Feeling length through the heels on the inhale. Exhale, this top pinky to toe lowers deeper to the ground. Mind the left hip and thigh to relax, allowing just that right hip and thigh to open. Just a little bit at a time, stretching out, releasing out, and resting. And take side leg back up. Flexing the top 
past April over that knee. Let's tug it in to the upper time tugging. Resting the outer hips open, shoulders releasing. Finding just a moment to breathe. The hips relax into back, ribs, shoulders. Feeling rest and exhale. Letting your body find its own peace. And you're going to have the option to keep both legs bent. If you want a little more hamstring release, you can extend that bottom leg to your straight. Option to continue holding on at the thigh, or maybe we walk up our hands to the calf, or maybe our hands on the foot and on the length of your arms and legs in relationship to each other. You can continue to exhale that thigh as close to the chest as you want to go. If you want to add a little abdominal crunch, you can exhale the nose up towards the knee and leg. That feels like a good option. Ready, we'll relax the legs. Lean, clean out the legs, heels to the the mat, maybe arms extend back over the head, stretch your arms, and then the elbows, relax the shoulders, the hips, and then Now from here, we're gonna bend that right knee, right sole of the foot resting to the ground. Send the arms far side, shoulders grounding in, forearms grounding in, lower back, feel support from the floor. And then we'll start to lift this left leg straight up and down. Left heel up to the sky, left heel back to the foot of the mat. And again, you can keep just the leg movement, or if your heel lifts up to the sky, you can also lift your hips like you're doing a one legged bridge. Heel lifts up to the sky if we've been lifting our hips. Go ahead and relax it. Hold on to the thigh for a moment. Give that ankle just a little bit of flexion so that it's sky, so it's the ground. Give a little release here if you breathe. With our heel pressing up to the sky, our exhale begins. Relax the thigh, maybe a little closer to the chest, continuing to hold on at the thigh, maybe holding on at the calf, maybe holding on at the foot. Taking a moment to breathe. That right knee can stay bent. Maybe we lengthen out the leg a little bit. Maybe we extend it a lot. Feeling those heels actively stretch away from each other. Taking a moment to rest and take a breath. Continue here. So this left hand comes inside the foot, half or thigh, the right hand to the ground, the right thigh and hip, and then you can just slowly open those left pinky toes out to the side, maybe lengthen through the heels on the inhale, exhale. So that outer leg release open, feeling that stability through our thighs, hip muscles, finding that controlled release. Just a moment to breathe and to stretch. Our body feels the best about today. And creating relaxation through each exhale. And we take this outer leg, bend the knee, that bottom leg, bend the knee, so that this outer heel, ankle, it should be left ankle above the right knee. And again, you can just relax here. You can reach the thighs into the chest. Find that hind pigeon, say the core. Breathing toes, knees, relaxing through the outer hips, creating relaxation into the exhale. Maybe we're hanging out here. Maybe extend that top leg to our bottom leg. Board straight, top knee still bent. Maybe on the calf, you can walk your hands up to the calf or foot. You want more of that hamstring stretch in that bottom leg. Feeling that release here. You want to add that little crunching action to the straight leg or that knee on the body. You can draw your nose up towards that leg structure and feel that release here. The rest of the side jaw. And 
whenever we're ready, we'll release that leg out. Feel both heels resting under the knees, finding our traditional bridge pose, letting our heels rest under the knees, shoulder blades wiggle in, fingertips towards the heels. Inhaling, kick thighs and heart just as much off the ground as you feel stable today. Opening the front side of the body, strengthening the back side of the body as we open our lungs. Feel that expansion with each inhale, finding relaxation with each exhale, noticing rest, noticing relief. Our tailbone rests into the ground. We feel the knees stack over the hips, arms rest out to our side. Feeling grounded here, and then start to move the knees to one side, knees towards the other side. Moving just a little relaxation. Moving all of that to the outer hip. You can keep flowing the knees side to side by themselves as you reach the knees to one side, that top leg. And begin lengthening towards straight, finding a little reach side to side, or maybe you feel like lengthening both legs up to the sky and feel your obliques sending both legs to one side, both legs to the other side. So depending on how much spinal twisting you feeling good about today, you can stay with doing all those rocky movements side to side. You can let the legs rest over to one side with knees bent or just the top legs straight or both legs straight, getting a little release here as you gaze away from the straight legs or bent knees and feel that release through our spines. We take just a few rest and breath. We're letting the legs move over to the other side or you can keep flowing back and forth your body's choice. Taking a moment to rest, find and release, and rest into each exhale. We find our way back to neutral, resting the thighs, the chest, releasing into the spine, maybe rocking just a bit side to side. From here, you're welcome to move into any other stretch that your body needs an extra release in today. You want to send the feet wide, maybe windshield wiper the knees a bit side to side. If you want to find butterfly position, you can do the baby windshield wipers side to side. Or you can find a link through the legs extending through the heels, feeling rest in the shoulders, the hips. Taking a moment to Find that resting position of relaxation, whatever that is for your body today. And we'll begin to focus on our breathing. Noticing our inhales, traveling in through the nose, down into the belly. Noticing our exhales, relaxing back out of the belly, back out of our mouth. Finding rest and relaxation. And feel the body slowly releasing without any extra. Stillness, noticing peace, finding rest into our exhale, relaxing the body.
start to gather the breath in the fingertips, toes, and the toes. Rest and relaxation in the breathing, fresh in the breath. Keep your legs, your ankles, your legs, your legs, your arms. He came over to sneak around the corner at me, and I was like, um. <laughs> it, he was on the, like, the wooden, the little brick ledge. Oh. Yeah. But he was just, like, around the corner, like, I see you. Rah, 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 rah. Okay. But then he ran back down the driveway, so. Oh, where, which neighbor do they want? I don't know. It may be, like, one of these new people the that, that moved in, because mm -hmm. both of these two houses just have new people that moved in, and I've not seen them before. They so. I know. Well, and it's like, I think that, you know, if they, it, I'm thinking it must be one of the new people because sometimes when dogs are in a new environment, they're like, don't know where they're at. Yeah, really yeah. try to, to figure out where to go in life. So, thank you, girly. Hi, I'm a teacher again. I know. Have fun. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> thank you.